scenic spot of Srinagar, we have this deep realization within us that we are all a part of the global world. And India under Prime Minister Modi is very conscious of that. Our challenges are global, our concerns are global, our benchmarks are global and our growth has also to be global. And that's why Prime Minister Modi has been time and again in COP meeting expressing his concern about the climate challenges. We have also committed to achieve net zero target by 2070. And I think another significance of uh, holding this event in Srinagar is also that it's a strange blend of our traditional heritage and the most modern infrastructural monuments with cutting-edge technology. Srinagar in Kashmir is being one of the earliest seats of learning both in Persian as well as in Sanskrit. It has a wide range of craftsmanship, artisanship, ranging from carpets, embroidery, shawls. Recently we had Masoli painting achieving the GI tag. And on the other hand, the most infrastructure upgraded monuments. We have the highest railway bridge of the world over here, which is 35 meters higher than the Eiffel Tower. It's located on River Chirah, which is one of the largest rivers of India. We have the Asia's longest bi-directional road tunnel, which is known as Shama Prasad Mukherjee Tunnel. I'm sure all these perspectives would add value to our thought processes. I was told in the earlier uh, meetings, the priorities have been green tourism, digitalization skill, MSME tourism, destination management. I'm sure from here we'll move on. And uh, India, I would just conclude by share, saying is, is, is ready to share the global responsibility uh, as far as our, as our obligation towards economy is concerned, towards environment is concerned, and towards society is concerned. And also one more aspect which was not talked about over yesterday and when this morning is that Kashmir also has a significant amount of another aspect of tourism, and that is science tourism. A very few kilometers away from where we are sitting now, we have a place called Gulmarg and another township called Bhadrava, another district of Doda, from where originated the Aroma Mission, which was initiated by the Modi government. This has also popularly come to be known as Purple Revolution. A huge amount of lavender cultivation happening at a very large scale and providing agri-tech startup livelihood opportunities to thousands and thousands of young men and women in the agriculture sector. And therefore, I think it's also some kind of a distinction of the place where we are sitting today to discuss tourism in various facets. When we discuss it in various facets, the agri-tourism combined with the agri-tech is also one important salient feature of the place that we are gathered today.